Hey, that was the mission, and uh, they actually were members of a group called Sisters of Mercy, weren't they? Or some of them were. Some of them were the bad guys. Yes, yes, and we have in the studio now two members of Sisters of Mercy. The good Patricia. guys. Yeah, the good guys. <laughs> you can tell because they're wearing black. Patricia and Andrew. What did, was the um, split not amicable then? It was to start with, but obviously with the sort of cartoon plagiarism, we, 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 uh, we had a few problems. Mm. Do you feel they're sort of ripping off your ideas? Uh, no. They tried. I can. I think you can see them trying. That was a nice attempt at a beer that I saw out there just a while ago. Yeah, right, right. Well, I like the, the sort of imagery there. It was very poltergeist-esque. A man's still wearing an old hat of mine, which I find rather entertaining. Yes. <laughs> now, um, you were not, haven't released anything till uh, this corrosion for two and a half years. What were you doing during that time? Mm, getting well, getting, getting healthy. Sorting myself out with the industry. Uh, just establishing a, a stronger power base, I think. And, and were you in... And writing the... better songs. That's always what we want to hear. Were you in the group at that time? Did you join recently, or...? When the uh, breakup happened, then the next day I was in the band. Oh, right. We right. knew we'd work together sometime, and that was the right time. All right. And you're from Los Angeles. How did you end up here in England? Well, I was in a different band years ago, and we were touring together with the Sisters of Mercy, and we met, stayed friends, and I was never really into that L.A. scene. I was when I started, but it has changed, and well, I, what I wanted to do I just there. want to say, I don't think you look like a valley girl. You're not wearing white cowboy boots, and... Uh, well, I'm a <laughs> California girl, am I? No, no, I, I approve heartily. Now, Andrew, you're from the north of England, aren't you? Yeah, I'm an adopted Yorkshireman. Uh, adopted? What's that mean? It means I was born in the south. Oh, but only in... came to life as a real human being in the north. Ah, uh, <laughs> I like that. I feel the same way about moving to this country. Now, do you think there's still a north-south divide? Do you find it oh, difficult? Yes. yes. To I have, a, I have a really hard time coming to terms with the values that still prevail in the south. But you want to be rich and famous like anyone else, though, don't you? Not at anybody else's expense, which is where, where I differ from. Well, that's good. I'm policy. exactly the same. Now, um, right, I'm looking here frantically. Now, your album was, uh, Floodland, was produced yeah. by Jim Steinman, who he also worked... He did a track and a half. Yes, this corrosion, didn't he? Uh, he did Meatloaf. What was it like working with him? It was brilliant. He's really sweet, really articulate, really art intelligent. Uh, one of, the, one of the few people in this business that can really hold their own on Eldridge Boulevard. <laughs> he was great to work with. He's a totally excessive little man. Oh, I always imagined he somehow looked a bit like Meatloaf, but he, he doesn't. Does. He does. He okay. looks like Meatloaf's older, Grandpa. more responsible brother. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get to meet Meatloaf at any point? No. No, he, he's away trying to, trying to write some songs, bless her. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you my patented Barbie question. This is probably going to be a bit interesting. Now, what color are your knickers that you're wearing at the moment? I'm not wearing any. God, these rock stars, you see a lot of them, they're not wearing knickers. What does your mother think? What about you, Patricia? Take a guess. Black. <laughs> Same here. Same here. And I also wear, you, you're sort of affecting a very inter interesting fashion choice by wearing two pairs of pants. Why? Well, the flies aren't done up on the bottom pair. They don't do up. Right. I'd, I'd have been arrested on the way here if I'd just worn the bottom pair. Uh -huh. Similarly, if I'd just worn the top pair, Yes, so two together. It looks good. Yeah, on Eldritch Boulevard, one pair of trousers is a criminal offence. When we get back, I'll ask you about Eldritch Boulevard. But now, let's watch this Corrosion by Sisters of Mercy. Yes, please. Oh, Sisters of Mercy and this Corrosion, that looked extremely uncomfortable to film, was it? Yes, very much. <laughs> we wanted that corroded feel, and we got it. Yeah, wasn't it kind of sort of dangerous with all the... Um, Electrical gear, I mean... <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. If we're going to suffer, everybody else is going to suffer. Oh, God, yes, I did a gig like that once. Uh, some sparks and water everywhere. It was not a comfortable feeling. It looks wonderful. Now, if you had anything you wanted to take, your favorite possession, into the bunker, if there was a nuclear holocaust, what would you take, Patricia? Of all time, your favorite possession. Nothing. Come on. Nothing. I Nothing? want it to go. Oh. 
would want to keep it. And what about you? Yeah, I don't believe in rush, rushing for the bunker. I'm one of these stand in the middle of the road people and go with everybody else. But uh, if Joanna Lumley was available, <laughs> she'd be in my bunker. <laughs> okay, I like that. What about Eldritch Avenue? What is Eldritch, Eldritch Avenue? Eldritch Boulevard. It's yeah. close to the planet Morrison. Oh, oh. I see. Yeah. Because your last name is Eldridge. I want to point that out to the viewers. Not Boulevard. Yes. No, no. <laughs> right. Okay, now we're going to be looking at your next video here called Dominion. Yeah, the new one. The new one. Fabulous. Any exciting bits in that? that oh, we should tons. Keep it, right? Tons. Lawrence of Arabia, part two. Lawrence of Arabia, part two. So let's watch the Sisters of Mercy and Dominion. Well, I'm going to be saying goodbye now to Sisters of Mercy, but one last question. Do you guys, are you going to go touring at all? Great. Okay, moving right along. I like that cue card. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And I'm uh, going to do a bit of gossip now about, I'm sure, one of your favorites here, George Michael. He's reported having a slight nervous breakdown of arrangements for a summer tour. Friends say George is so wound up about... about that's easy for you wound, to say. Wound, yes, way easy for me to say. So wound up about it because he does not want to be a has-been. George, you're not a has-been. Anyway, this is George Michael and Father Figure. Thanks a lot.